So this morning and last night, we got earnings from a whole bunch of retailers, and for the most part, they all came up short. But you know, an interesting thing happened during the session. Investors bid up those high-end retailers like Tiffany's and Williams Sonoma, while crushing Dollar Tree and Dollar General. But I told you what to look for on August 11th. Remember? I will take a look at Tiffany's tomorrow. Technically, stock is on the cusp of a major breakout, and if it does, not a lot of resistance until 75 bucks. All right, well, we got to 74. By the way, all you guys always tweeting and emailing you, emailing me rather for ideas. You got Tiffany last week. You got a double digit gain in two weeks. And if you want to ring the register, you can send me a thank you. In the meanwhile, the reaction in the market today could be read as a warning about lower income consumers in question. Are they out of money? I mean, there's no doubt. Think about this. Consumers cannot keep dipping into savings uh, and they can't keep increasing the credit card debt forever. So this means one thing. It means that wages have to move and it has it has to move really in a way that it hasn't moved in a long time. Meanwhile, if this action in the market or lack of action feels familiar, it probably should. This is how the market traded last summer. There was headlines in June and July about how narrow the trading range was, and we hadn't seen this in decades. The source of that hesitation and anxiety back then was the Federal Reserve. The source of that hesitation and anxiety now, the Federal Reserve. But Janet Yellen's got a big speech at Jackson Hole tomorrow. In the meantime, the Dow, think about this. Since it broke out to new all-time highs last month, that was July 12th, it's traded a grand total of 101 points. That's 0.005%. Not a big change. So here's a challenge for the Federal Reserve Chairman. Uh, how does she push the rate hikes out to December uh, in a way that potentially doesn't interfere with the outcome of the presidential election and yet keep a, a modicum of credibility? I mean, just a small amount. Uh, you know, because if they don't have the ability to at least jawbone the markets, I can tell you, she can keep reach, reaching for those arrows, but that quiver is empty. So at this point, the market is a tightly compressed, coiled spring. It's going to pop. I don't know if it's going to pop to the upside or the downside, but I promise you an explosive move coming real soon. By the way, I'm working on a presidential report. It's going to feature stocks that will go up no matter which candidate wins in November. I think I'll be ready with it over the weekend. So please go to my website, wstreet.com. Sign up for it. You want this. I think I'm going to have two big grand slams in there. And by the way, get my free daily market commentary. Also, you don't want to miss Wall Sh oh, Fox's new show, Wall Street Week, you know the iconic show, well it's back and I want to give you a sneak preview. Gabrielle Santos, she's the global market strategist at JP Morgan. Gabrielle, are you worried that deflation will infect the United States? No, we're not. And, and I would argue that what we're con not concerned, but what we're looking in the horizon is actually an inflationary scenario in the U.S. Uh, so if we think about the reason that inflation has been very, very low, it has been a lot due to the fall in energy prices. That's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on Fox Business.